Dubai, a city that hosts the ultimate building of the world, Burj Khalifa is a record setter by hosting astonishing hotels, astonishing shopping malls, and the longest gold shopping center. In 2003, a new feather has been announced to add to its feather, the world, a man-made island, a project worth more than a billion. The shape of this man-made island has just resembled the map of the Earth. With three already constructed man-made islands, the world was planned to be the tourists' hotspot as it is just a short ride ahead of Dubai. But after a decade of completion, the islands are still abandoned, there is hardly anything built on that. But why? What happened to the most ambitious project in Dubai? In early 2000, the real estate boom in Emirates was at its peak, and it was expected to develop enormous opportunities in creating artificial coastal land in Dubai. At that time, most of the Dubai coastal lands have already been expanded. Nakil Properties, a government-owned real estate company made a twist to change the coastline of Dubai drastically in just two decades. First, the company came up with the plan to build three palm tree-shaped, man-made islands, the Palm Jumeirah, Palm Dera, Palm Jebel Ali. Palm Dera is by far the largest one. The project of Palm Jumeirah could double the coastline of Dubai. In 2003, they announced the latest the world. The islands are planned to have low-density housing, high-density complexes, and some of its parts are planned to use commercially. In the later phase, this island was planned to be supplemented with the even larger project the universe. When viewed from space, it represents the shape of the sun, moon, a distant galaxy, and a Milky Way. This project represents the aspiration of a cosmopolitan city like Dubai and its amazing people. The level of confidence behind these projects is eye-popping. It has all the potential to be the tourist's hotspot, that surely creates a source of new income for a place like Dubai, where most of its wealth comes from the extraction of oil. Now take a look, what finally happened to these ambitious plans. At the end of 2006, the land reclamation and construction of the first apartments in Palm Jumeirah were completed in handover. The strings of Palm mainly host private spaces, and in the ring around the Palm, the luxury hotels are planned. When the Palm Jumeirah was still under construction, the company Nakiel Properties took the risk to start the other projects. In the 21st century real estate industry of Dubai experienced the boom and the great Burj Khalifa, the largest building in the world was built. But all these cannot sustain the international financial crisis that readily affects Dubai, especially the real estate industry. All the megaprojects are compelled to shut down. Projects related to the artificial island was about to collapse. Most of the construction sites are shut down in no time amid this crisis. The declining demand for the project leads to the rapid fall of the price of the plots. Further development of Palm Jebel Ali comes to a standstill. The empty sandbanks, that spread over 7 kilometers, are completely forgotten when the company Nakiel Properties announced the refunds to its investors. Finally the world. Most of the land reclamation was already done. And a large part of it had already been sold apart before the financial crisis hit Dubai's real estate industry. But most of the investors are now facing their problems, so the entire project has not developed any further. Though after the initial threat of financial crisis, Dubai bounced back, and investment has come to lots of new projects, but the world project does not benefit much from this, as most of the investors are not sure about the revenue out of this project. Ten years after the initial project announcement the highly ambitious project is no longer a fit for the current time. There are many concerns behind the situation starting from environmental issues to the longevity of this island. It was in the news that smaller channels are found between the islands that started to sand up. And the raising of sea level is another concern that grows dangerous for this project. Other than that, residents of Palm Jumeirah have continuously complained about the water quality it provides. Thousands of tons of sand on the seabed destabilize the coastal soil, which could lead to erosion of the natural coastline. Altogether these negative environmental impacts make it impossible to marketize the project. Nevertheless, few projects are starting to take shape in these islands. In 2014, an Austrian real estate company have announced that they are planning to develop several projects on European islands. The project is named the heart of Europe, 
as the mission is to create a mini version of Europe, with luxurious hotels whose constructions are inspired by Venice or Monaco. In addition to these hotels, they have planned to build a chain of European food courts and plazas. The project is currently under construction, and only time will tell whether this can bring back the glory in terms of economic success. Every corner of the world takes risky development projects. Few of them got success whereas few failed. This kind of project often serves a greater role than just being financially successful for them only. They attract tourists and support the local economy. Apart from just boosting the local tourism industry, a few of the projects instead of symbolizing the start of a new era or serve as national pride. So, if you question Dubai for this ambitious planning, the same criticism must come for every part of it. But for this time being, the question has remained whether the ambitious man-made island project will going to change the coastal landscape of Dubai or not.